There is one more order of business left for us today. To make a proper introduction to a new gaming companion. But in thinking about a new Nintendo system, we knew the prevailing thought would be this. Yes, the game will probably still be right for all of us, but could it also be a perfect fit just for you? And the answer to that question is an emphatic, absolutely. In fact, we're so convinced of it that we put that pronoun right in the name. So today, welcome to the world of We You. For all the showing off at its E3 conference, Nintendo left us in the dark on a number of points about its new console, the Wii U. Though we did get our paws on the new tablet controller and play a few of the tech demos, the console box itself, through which the game data is streamed to the tablet, was firmly sealed inside the stand beneath the TV. Likewise, there are plenty of crucial details about the console so far hidden from view. The eight unanswered questions on whose answers the success of the Wii U might rest are these. What's the controller battery life? The tablet controller's big touchscreen will be, potentially, a big drain on its battery. The same goes for its ability to stream a video signal from the console proper. Whether the Wii U controller will take a built-in battery or replaceable ones isn't even certain yet, but we'd love to know, for starters, how long it can go between charges or changes. What's the controller range? Bear with us here, this is a vital detail from one of the console's key features, the ability to stream from the box to the tablet. You'd expect the range to be around that of the distance between a sofa and a TV, but ideally it'd be more. When the TV's in use by someone else, but you're still playing something on the tablet screen, it'd be great to be able to take it away and play elsewhere, still reasonably close to the box. We may or may not be talking about the bathroom. What's the online stuff like? There was no mention of friend codes at E3, but don't celebrate yet. That doesn't rule them out. The 3DS, after all, still uses a unified friend code system. Nintendo says game developers have requested a more open online system, but we don't know yet what that looks like in practice. At the very least, it needs to be easy to find friends, see what they're playing, and be able to play with them fuss-free. Radical, we know. What's the dashboard like? The Wii interface made sense. People instinctively understood using a Wii remote to point to a menu item. The Wii U with its touchscreen tablet would enable a touch base interface, but we're all in the dark so far as to how that might look. We'd like to see Nintendo try something new here and create something outside traditional thinking for how we interact with our console, as long as it's pretty and easy to use, obviously. What's on the inside? Specifically, we want to know about the Wii U's graphical horsepower. There have been plenty of vague promises of graphical grunt to match or exceed those of the PS3 or 360. It's HD, yes, and Twilight Princess look very nice, yes. But nerds we are, we want hardware details. What's going on under the hood, Nintendo? What will third-party support be like? By which we mean, will there be great games made by anyone other than Nintendo? There are some exciting multi-platform games coming to the Wii, like Arkham City and Ninja Gaiden 3, and ports of 360 and PS3 games should be made easier by the Wii U's supposedly on-par graphical prowess. But the question is, will there be decent exclusives? Could Nintendo convince these developers to make games just for its new console? Will it support more than one Wii U controller? Nintendo has said that Wii U supports just the one tablet controller at the moment. It didn't rule out the possibility that more than one might be coupled with the console in the future, though. We'd cheerfully kill to know how feasible a second or third controller is. Though, with the cost of an extra tablet controller potentially pretty high, Nintendo doesn't want to force people to buy them. Speaking of cost, how much? Yes, the all-important price. Nintendo's traditionally been careful to keep hardware prices modest-ish, using older tech to keep costs down. Can Nintendo keep the Wii U price palatable with that fancy tablet controller to factor in? Nintendo hardly ever prices its consoles as low as its handhelds, so expect the RRP to land higher than that of the 3DS, at least. Then again, how high can Nintendo afford to go, when the Wii U will be sharing shelf space with the cheap 360 and PS3 bundles? 
How much are people willing to shell out for a next-gen Wii? These aren't the only niggling questions about Nintendo's new console. Will we be able to transfer virtual console content? Will the Wii U have a virtual console-like store? Will there be some kind of DS or 3DS integration? For the answer to all these questions and more, eventually, see our Wii U hub at the address below. For now, it's got what we know so far about Nintendo's still mysterious new console, and all will become clear ahead of the Wii U's 2012 launch.